Hi. Today we're going to lift the mill up onto a stand that I made for it. I found the uh, mill was a little low, uh, quite a bit low actually. Uh, so I built a, uh, a stand that uh, will raise it eight inches up uh, so it's closer to where I can see. Uh, so I thought uh, the video was, uh, to me, I, I labored over uh, how am I going to lift this after I got it in place. And you saw probably in the uh, previous videos uh, where I rolled it in a place on rollers and uh, uh, I used the uh, stationary hoist system that I had in the front of my shop in order to get it up on the stand. And now it's a matter of uh, lifting both the machine and the stand that it's attached to onto a base. So what I have going on up here is a, uh, a four inch piece of square tubing. It's an old piece that uh, served as a tongue of a, a boat trailer at one time. I'm supporting it on each end with uh, eight foot jack posts. And I have cleats in the ceiling to keep the uh, four inch square tube from moving around. Uh, I needed to get the hoist as high up as possible because I have uh, approximately the ability to do about a 13 or 14 inch lift there, uh, given that I have the hoist as high as it can go and this, the connector for the, uh, where I hook on to lift the mill up uh, as low as it can be. And that will give me uh, a 14 inch lift. I, I'll need uh, about 10 to get the eight inch base underneath there. So we're lifting it with a half ton uh, uh, chain hoist and uh, I'm hoping for the best. So about the base that I've made. So here's the base that I've made. Basically it's uh, three quarter inch birch plywood. Uh, it has a double layer on the top, single layers on the side, and it's dadoed um, all throughout. And other than the, uh, the outside, you have three cross pieces for further support. I feel pretty good about uh, how strong this is. We'll see how it works out. So I'll just pan up to see, uh, to give you an idea of uh, what the whole thing looks like. Okay, let's get to work. So it should be pretty clear what the advantage is. Uh, this is uh, with my, uh, I have my arms now bent at 90 degrees at the elbow. It certainly is much more ergonomic. I went with eight inches because it would allow me to still reach uh, the column adjuster up here without overextending my arm 
and this is uh, just at the right height for my hand. So all in all, uh, we got a measuring tape. If it was a knee, if it was a knee mill, it wouldn't uh, be as, as important, but where it's a mill drill stand. Uh, 43 and a half inches where the table's at. Okay, uh, I hope that uh, gives you some ideas for a home shop gantry, a temporary one. And uh, it's just a bit of a continuation of the saga of this mill drill press that I bought. And uh, hope to see you in another video, and thanks for watching.